I asked Matt Pedersen, he's actually a model they hired. <laughs> no. Why, hello there. 387. Well, not really a 387, it's a 377. But, we'll agree to disagree. Right, let's do this. Open doors. Of course we have the AP sound pack. Great Northern is not the same now with the 387 replacing the 317. Oh, this is a really bad reskin. Holy crap. That is so pixelated. <laughs> on platform five is your on platform 5 is your 1038 Thameslink service to Bedford. This train is formed of 8 coaches. Platform 5 for your 1038 Thameslink service to Bedford. <laughs> A 387 ready to start destroying people's backs using power of terrible seats, of course. What did you do to clear the message? Uh, F2 and cancel? Curse of the iron board seats. <laughs> yeah. Four five fives are here to replace the free one freeze. On either side there you can see. Platform 5 for your Bedford service it is now ready to depart in about 30 seconds. Please board now. Your 1038 Thames Link service to Bedford. Train now approaching platform 1, I think. No. Yes. Yep. Yeah, platform one. Terminates here. Oh, do I see a four four two over there? Nice, nice, nice. God damn it, Sam! A calling out. Oh yes. Final call for the Thames Link service to Bedford. Calling at Burgess Hill, Hayward Heath, Free Bridges, Gatwick Airport, East Croydon. Herne Hill and the rest of the stations all the way to <laughs> to Bedford. You're laughing too hard. <laughs> I think you should be a station announcement voice. I would love to work at I would love to do some like announcement work. I would love to do it. I definitely think I'd get too into it, I think. I think it'd be absolute fun. Uh eight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard this uh Thameslink service to Bedford. This is your driver speaking. We'll be calling out today Burgess Hill, Haywards Heath, Free Bridges, Gowick Airport, East Croydon, Han Hill, and all the northern stations past London to Bedford. The next station is Burgess Hill. Uh, I don't know if there's a guard service on board. I don't know. Probably not, but um, your driver's here if you need anything. <laughs> I 
I think I'd I I'd really get into it. I'd be at i I'd be at a, like a station. I'd be I'd be like you know, you know, gotta give a performance when you do these kind of things. There are some people that go on the announcement of anything like in shops or in stations or whatever, and they just sound dead. You need to give a performance, man. You know, that's like performing arts right there. You're 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 speaking to you know like a station like say at Waterloo or something. If you're an announcer, you're speaking to like maybe a few thousand people you know you gotta you, you know you gotta present your, you gotta project yourself good and even in a train a driver has to kind of present himself good he's talking to like you know a good few hundred people well the subway's free maybe maybe i don't know There is literally an announcer on Southeastern called Southeastern Railway Announcer Man. Law. Well, you obviously got the name. <laughs> oh, we have three one nines. Nice. Ah, missed it. Missed it. Do you think of the Super Owl 700? Looks good so far, from what I saw. Oh, there's no passenger view. Is that the 319 sad face they're going, or the 319 sad face they're awful? Yeah, bimodal units, which sounds funny to me. It's weird, the, the government do not want, like, there's been recently like a lot of cutbacks on electrification for loads of lines, and it's like, really? Like, you know how useful it would be electrifying lines. The amount of more trains you could run is just stupid. It's crazy. I'm gonna put the speed set on because you know I can. Uh what am I doing? 90 uh, there we go. Set to 90. Don't think it'll go over, hopefully. What did you plan doing after your graduation? I do not know currently. I'm thinking this year I'm just going to take it a bit, you know, you know, relax a bit, have a year to myself. Like this is like maybe the first time ever I've always been in education, so you know, I you know deserve a break. I feel uh, I might get myself a part-time job or full-time job. I don't know, um, but we'll see. I don't know. Just means I can do more like YouTube and stuff for now.
Do you have the NJ transit pack? I don't think so. Me and my friend used to be excited about going on 700s, and now we just install it for replacing the 319s and their roll out of problems. Law. Electrification doesn't increase the capacity of tracks. Well, what? Mm -hmm. Well, yes and no. I would I would argue it does a bit. Because obviously, if you have diesel trains, which are notoriously like sl like slow accelerators as well, but like say on a stopping service diesel, uh, like a stopping service diesel branch or line or something like that, like having electric trains is a lot like swifter, and uh, you can electric trains can be a lot more frequent than diesel trains, but. And generally, um diesel trains like are like in more smaller uh, like consist like shorter consist while like I feel like in electric trains you can you can add more coaches to it without really worrying what well, with diesels you have to like you know and I think generally the costs of like electric trains are probably better compared to compared to diesel 769 flex yeah have you thought of becoming a driver in real life? Yeah, I would love to at some point. Um, don't know when, but at some point I'd love to give a go of uh, being a trade driver as a career, definitely. That would depend on the type of motor in both, yeah. Yeah, electric trains generally are longer. Yeah, exactly. There's gonna be right, yeah, because loads of stops are now gonna be depleted in, and they'll probably get shunted up to the north. To be honest, so is it hard to get into university? Um, yes and no. Depends what university you want to go to. Depends what A levels you're doing. Uh, I would say if you put your mind to it, no. I wouldn't say. You would think that getting to university is the hardest thing, but then you realise when you're in university, ah, look what I've gotten myself into. But it's good though, like, because you're doing, once you're in university, you're doing something you want to do, so even if it is hard or challenging, you persevere through, uh, through it. Voyager Meridian can accelerate pretty fast though. Uh, yeah, fast, but I would bet more on, like, modern electric trains being able to, you know, out accelerate that. Top speeds may vary though. Diesel trains like the Voyager Meridian can go to greater speeds than some of these electric units. Three six fives are gonna be put into storage now. That's a bit annoying. Burgess Hill. Yeah, the three eight seven G Barbios, yeah. Three six fives are so cool though. Uh, they just look like tired, knackered networkers that just have a pantagra. I would say three six fives have um have a cooler front cab though than like the four six fives or the four six six. <laughs> I can't go to Kings Lynn fast on them anymore. Instead, three eight sevens. Well. We can't have everything.
Next station is Hayward Heath. The 365 with its cab that gives its nickname the Happy Train. Oh, yeah, I guess it looks like kind of bubbly, kind of happy, yeah. I suppose. Was that the bell? Uh, I think when I was departing, yeah, I pressed the, uh, I think I pressed the depot whistle, and then I pressed the, uh, signal bell, yeah. That's the signal bell. God. Do you know that South East operates 16 365s back in 2004? Wasn't that, didn't they have, yeah, they had uh, shoe gears, didn't they, back then? I don't even know if they still have shoe gears. Or if they were taken off. <clears throat> what does it do? What is it for? It's basically when a guard closes the doors, um, and then it will the guard would go and then the driver to alert the guard that yeah he you know the doors are closed would go back to the guard and give him two bells and then the driver can the driver would then know to like move off Do you have to do this in TS? No. Like, doesn't matter if I ring the bell or not. Where's the 8 marker? Is there an 8 marker? I don't know. Did I miss an 8 marker? Because... No. There's no 8 marker at this stop for some reason. Very odd. Well, I think I just timed it perfectly, actually. Yeah, enough clearance in the back, so it's, it's fairly good. Uh, where does it save? It saves in the screenshots folder, I think, on my local disk. You were at Haver's Heath the other day spotting some rare 319s. Are they really that rare now in the south? Hello, Mike. I just saw you there pop up in the chat.
Oh, speak of the devil, there's a free one now. And we shall leave it. Hello, big salmon. Just in the speed set. The speed set's really buggy. Cool viaduct here. Yep, on the Brighton Main Line, it's just 700s and 377s only. The Seven Oaks Kent route and the Sutton route. So yeah, because I see still quite a lot of 319s in London, like like Farrington and Cricklewood and. Um, places like that. So, yeah, they probably still, yeah, they work on the Sutton route. I'm surprised that Govia didn't actually, like, why they went to Siemens for the 700s. Why didn't, didn't they just go to Bombardier and ask for some adventurers or something like that? I'm not too sure. I can definitely see me and Mike doing another like Euro Truck multiplayer or American Truck multiplayer stream. That'll be really fun to do again. And enjoy the the Ram Fest online. Alstom are bringing the EMUs to the UK. Hmm. What kind of new, uh, what kind of new EMUs? I just like, it'd be cool if Alstom made like a new Pendolino, like a more improved Pendolino, or a bigger. 100% damage, my favourite, yeah, of course. <laughs> There'll only be around 10 319s, wow. Yeah, you could whisper me the link if you want. 
I think it was First Capital Connect at the time and the TOC that uh, only say that they preferred manufacture for the particular order. Okay. What is this? 11 car pendo, not good enough for you. No, I just think a new Pendolino would be really good. Like, you know, why not? A new and improved Pendolino. Like, why is Alstom not in the game to, like, make intercity trains? Uh, like, you know, the eight, you know, the 800s are now, like, GWR. They're going to be on the East Coast Main Line. And why can't Alstom pick up their game and put up a, put up a new high-speed train? Because I'm sure they're not going to be going, oh, we, st we can still make you the Pendolino. It's like, no, we want a better train. Okay, well, make a new Pendolino. Make something new. Make the new advanced tilting train. I don't know. We're now approaching three bridges. They have newer generation Pendolinos for other countries. Well, they need to make one for the UK. They need to bid harder. They make some of the coolest EMUs. Define cool. The 460? Um... What kind of DMUs are we looking at here? Oh well, hello there. 319. Hello, 377. Oh, that one's going. Oh, is is any of the other ones going? No, I don't think this one. This one might be coming, going to. We might have a little bit of a race here with this three seven seven. You never know. I don't think this three one nine is. No, I think this three one nine's heading up this. No, not even that way. Three bridges. Uh, don't know what this three one nine's doing. 334, 390, 458, 460 as I would only kind of put the 390, possibly the 460 in a in the in the cool kind of category. But uh other than that not really any oh we're gonna have a race. We're going to have a race. We're going to have a race. Are you serious? Come on, 387. You're newer. You should, you should be beating this. Oh my god, I'm getting smoked here. No. Speed up. Well, you're going to have to stop at Gatwick just to let you know, so... Can we do Ompsy later? No. I'm not doing Ompsy for the current time being. Oh my god, that... Oh! Oh! I know why, because I had a speed set on. Oh! What? What? Oh! Let's go. I'm really upset by that now. We really could have got him. We'll probably will. 
again, he's going to have to stop at uh, Gatwick Airport, so I'm going to come in a little bit brave into Gatwick Airport. Is Train Fever and, and Transport Fever two different games? Yes, Transport Fever is the successor to Train Fever. Right, I, I think I should start slowing down now. But I want to catch this guy up so badly that I might even be a bit reckless here. But people are already discomfortable, uh, already uncomfortable in the in these trains. So, like, what's a bit more rough and tumble gonna do? Yeah, look at this. Yeah, that's it. You go, you go slow. You're not, you're not as good as me to come into a, into a station fast. That's all I'm saying. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> Caught you up, Sunny Jim. He's going to stop before me and open the doors. Ah, uh, No. Oh, come on. Where the hell is this 8 marker? I'm stopping at this 6. It's trolling me. Oh no, it's gonna leave before me. Ah, uh, where is it? There's like a really low stock of uh, aim eight marker things. Like the fact that I had to use the six one because of reasons. Maybe this. Uh, oh, it's a ten car. Nice. This guy's gonna go before me. I can I can feel it. I'm not doing any other game after this game. This will probably be my last scenario anyway, so soak it up in good. Right. This guy's staying a little longer than I thought. You missed my message. What was your message? Oh, what is Transport Fever? I played Transport Fever before this game. It's like a modern Transport Tycoon game. Starting at the same time. Go, 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 go. 100%. I don't care about smooth passenger quality. Whoever scripted this AI in is, is, is taunting me. Go. Power. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. No, it's not enough. It's not enough. 387 slow. The 387 is actually slow, even though it's not the 387, it's just the skin for the 377, but this 387 is slow. Look at this guy, he's pulling, he has nitrous. This guy has nitrous on this train, what the hell? Oh my god. Right, it's Transport Tycoon. Uh, there's something called www.google.com. Transport Tycoon is Transport Tycoon. I can't explain it to you. Go and find out what a Transport Tycoon game is. It's probably the gearing for that 110 mile per hour. Well, oh, look here. Oh, so is someone going slow? Oh, 
That's right, you're not on the fast line, are you? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't care. Oh, well. 319? Oh, little. F oh. Could do tremendous flybys here. This guy's still going faster than me. He's on the slow, you have a chance. I don't think I have a chance. I'm like breaching my top speed just to edge forward. And the thing is, I don't think I think he's on the slow, but I don't think he's stopping. Yes, he's, he's not stopping at stations. Oh, Gatwick Express. This is a really good scenario with AI, I have to say. Very good. This is cool. There's not many places where you can do this. There's not many opportunities you get to do this, so you need to soak these in. Am I streaming tomorrow? I might stream a little bit tomorrow, I don't know. I kind of want to watch Matt Peddleston's birthday stream tomorrow, so I might not stream. Oh, he's creeping up a little bit and following me. Ooh. The South occurred will occur, will have, of course it will. Oh, hello. Now imagine if this was multiplayer. Like, imagine that. Like, we're both, you know, have services that are... Oh, is someone slowing down? Oh, that's, that's a shame. That's a shame someone has to slow down. Because someone probably has to stop at the next station. <laughs> bye bye. It was nice to know you. Yeah, it's headed for Red Hill. <laughs> And that's the last we'll see of him. Full power. <laughs> Do I have West buses of the West Country 2.9? I don't think so. Next station is East Croydon. I'll see the link after. <laughs> what does he do normally? Matt Peterson does just like train sim and stuff like that. Like farm sim, train sim, Minecraft. Uh, what other stuff does he do? There's loads of different kind of variety kind of simulation games. Similar to what I do. Similar to what like Squirrel does. You know like that. But mainly he does train sim. As he's a, a train sim developer.
Class 395, Rody, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's fine, Max B. It's fine. And thank you to... I, I don't think I've read this one out. I thank you to Grigler111 for the follow as well. I didn't see that, weirdly. I don't know why. Maybe I was occupied with something. I'm, I'm not too sure. But thank you for the follow if you're still watching. I don't like the desires. I just I don't like the sound. I don't really like the look of them. They're just very boxy, bloated trains. PC specs are below the stream. Be love, uh, Daddy. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're well. Train sim is the current rent. This is the current engine. It's like a ten-year-old engine. While uh, train sim was an Unreal Engine four. Same DLC? No, no.
down to 60. I don't know what the difference is between those two. I don't really play Bus Sim 16 anymore. Zyro Electrostar. Um, oh, I would say probably looks, I'd probably slide towards more to the Desiro. Sound probably Electrostar because I don't like the sound of the Desiro. What do you mean what bus games? The only real bus game I play from time to time is Omsi. Other national rail services and Tramlink. Oh, Jesus. The eight mark is here, but I I feel I oh, the four five five such eight is here. Nice, very good. One seven two. Do I use Snapchat or not really? This is a Thameslink service to Bedford. Next station's Hernhill. Phil Mebon. Phil. Oh, I see. I see. I see what you did there. Thank you for the follow, though. Drive. We'd. L uh, dr drive. Driver. We'd like you to make a quick stop at Hernhill for driver change. Yes, of course. No, I don't have the bus company simulator for OMC2.
welcome aboard this Thameslink service to Bedford. Trains running on time. Next station is Hern. Like, oh, actually, it's not there. No. Uh, we'll be making a stop at Hern Hill for a driver change. Thank you very much. I might get. It, I don't know. Do I like three eight fives? Um, I don't know what they are. Can't think of if I don't know it off the top of my head, then I don't really know much about them or don't really care for them. light here now coming up. Oh, I don't know anything about the Hitachi trains. Oh, approved. Nice. Oh, why, hello there, 378. Sneaky. Very sneaky. But I approve of this. Oh good, it's all approved. Thank God. Electro Star Buddies. Switching track here. So that 378 would have to wait behind there. Tracks again, nice. Going up to Hern Hill in four miles. We'll do a driver change. Looks like it'll take us about ten minutes to get to Hern Hill. Not a fan of the 380, really. And now one nice overground track. 
Crystal Palace and beyond. the oldest DLC in the game. It's probably like probably like something like the, the Great Western Mainline or something like that. I don't know. I, well, the Great Western Mainline came with the game so I don't know what the first like official add-on DLC was. Maybe well, I don't know. The Isle of Wight's pretty old. Some good flanging. Uh, I don't know where you can get the manual from. Probably somewhere in the file directory, I don't know where. In real life, this section takes up to an hour to go through between Blackfriars and East Croydon on Thames Lake. Wow. Yeah, because there's so many. There's the Overground, there's, uh, you know, there's Southeastern, there's Overground, there's Southern. There's so much activity and, and services going on at the same time. I'm surprised it doesn't take longer. Jesus. The tab came down. No, this is this is an actual signal I have to stop at. This is why London Bridge needs to reopen quick, yeah. Can you please email me the buttons? There's, I have nothing to email. look up online would you drive more like underground trains or trains available on trains here what do you mean I don't understand the question
this is this is West Norwood. Damn, these speed limits around you are killer. <sighs> Damn, I've, I've been streaming almost for seven hours. So done after this scenario. Oh, but why did you say TS? Why did you say tri what? Like you should have just phrased the question as do you. If in a re if you were a real life driver, would you prefer to drive underground or overground trains? Probably overground trains. Like the underground, like cheap trains. If you're talking about that, they're becoming all automatic, so you're not even driving them anymore. So what's the point of being a train driver? You're gonna sit there and just press buttons to open doors. I'd rather actually drive the train, you know. This is just dire. But I like the flanging. Hopefully now on the last final stretch to, to Herne Hill. Shouldn't be too bad. Less than a mile. Cupcake, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to stream. to her nail platform or one.
Oh, there's the driver. Uh, oh god, where are we? And there we go. Driver is there to relieve me. Hern Hill. Achieved. Well done, driver. Because of the service, uh, this service was still has a timetable to here too. The switchover will be swift. Fantastic. 